Hi there, in this video we're going to look at creating uh, custom formats uh, but within those formats uh, using icons like emojis or uh, little custom icons for example I've got some little triangles here that we're going to use. So this is different to using conditional formatting. If you've used conditional formatting you'll know for example you've got some icon sets there but you are restricted to the icons that it gives you. Uh, this method gives you uh, a lot more icons that you can use. We're not using conditional formatting at all. We're just actually formatting the cells. Now, in these examples, in the cell itself, we haven't got any of these icons typed in. All we've got is formulas, okay, that give you a positive or negative value. The same down here, down by or up by or stays the same. Uh, we haven't got any of that data in the cell itself. We've just got a little formula that's calculating the difference between the two years. It's the format that's actually entering these values in and the formatting. Even the colouring uh, of, of the text within the cell is performed within the custom number format. So for our, in our first example, what we're doing is we're saying uh, if the account is over budget, we want a, a little worried emoji face and then the text saying over budget buy and then the amount and if it's not over budget we'll have a nice cool emoji with sunglasses where it says no worries down here uh, we're showing a down triangle in red if there is a, a downward trend in sales uh, a green triangle if there's an upward trend in sales or a, uh, a horizontal facing uh, triangle if the uh, sales have stayed the same so that's what we're actually going to aim at uh, showing you how to do within this video tutorial. When you create custom formats, there are four parts of the format. You can specify formats for positive values, negative values, zero values and text values, depending on, what, depending on what's been entered or calculated within the cell. Now, the order is important here. First of all, you specify positive values, then a semicolon, then negative values, then semicolon, then zero values, semicolons, and then last of all, text values. We won't be using the text values part of the format within this uh, video tutorial, we will, but we will be using the others. So let's just show, uh, let's just look at the custom number formats that are inbuilt to, uh, within Excel. I'm going to go to the working copy sheet and we haven't got anything in these cells at the moment but if I go if I right click and go to format cells or that's the format cells dialog box or if I use the shortcut key control one it takes me to the format cells dialog box now when we're in that dialog box we want to go down to custom and then we can see some custom number formats uh, within our dialog box now let's just look at one of the examples here. Here I've got a custom number format that uh, has two parts, one for positive and one for negative values. And you can probably spot the difference here. Negative values will be shown in red, whereas positive values won't. So you can actually choose um, a color for negative values, as well as a different format maybe for positive and negative values. This, wasn't ha this one hasn't used any specific format for zero formats, but we have the option to do that if we want. Right, I'm just gonna come out of that dialog box before we look at how to specify colors and to include emoji icons or other icons within our format. So the next thing to discuss is how we specify what color we're going to apply to say positive and then negative values. Well, if I go to my color sheet, I've created a little grid for you here that shows you the 56 colors that you can specify for formats. So color three is red, color five is blue. So we can include those specific colors when we create our custom number formats. So the next thing to look at is how to include the emoji icons within our custom format. Now on this icon sheet, I've got uh, a list basically of uh, some of the emoji icons and other icons that you might want to use within your formats. Now you can create these yourself within Excel by using a formula, believe it or not. This one here uses the unicharacter function 
and refers to the number in A2. So you can create your own. If I was to type equals uni character and then type in a number such as 128512, that creates the uh, smiley emoji. Now what I'm going to do is copy and paste these into the sheet that I'm eventually going to want to show them in. This is so that it makes it really easy to paste it into my custom number formats. So the first emoji that I want is the one with the sunglasses. Now uh, somewhere in this list is the one with the sunglasses. Let's find it difficult to find them. There we are. So I'm going to copy that. Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to my working sheet and I'm going to paste in values. So that's a right click paste values. I don't want to paste the formulas because that means I won't better copy and paste them in, into my custom number format. Go back to the icon. The next one I want is the really worried looking one. So that's somewhere in this list. There we are. It looks pretty terrified there. I'm going to copy that. Go back to my working copy. Copy paste values. And I've got my two little icons that I want to use. So sunglasses one is going to be used where uh, my account is within budget. Terrified one where it's over budget. The other thing I want to be able to do is specify a color for each icon. Now um, I'm going to, uh, at this point, before I do my custom number format, is work out what colors I want to use. So for the sunglasses one, I think I'm going to use uh, color 46, which is that orange. And for the terrified one, let's go for, say, the red color. That would be three. So now I've got all the information I need ready to go for my custom number formats. Let's perform the calculation that we need in this column, which is budget minus actual. Negative value for budget uh, for accounts that are over budget, positive if within budget. Next step would be to copy these emojis. So select them, control C to copy. Select the sales we want to apply the custom format to, control one for format sales, custom, paste those emojis into this type box. Now, positive values are gonna include the emoji with the sunglasses. So I'm gonna start with some open speech marks, control, uh, shift two for that, double inverted commas. So we're gonna have the emoji with the sunglasses and then some text, no worries. This is for the positive values, close speech marks. So then semicolon, okay. So that allows us to specify what we want to show for positive values but I want to also specify a color for that. Now the color actually goes in front of the speech marks in square brackets. So all I do is I say open square brackets, color, and then the color I want, so that's 46, close square bracket, okay? Semicolon, and then we can specify uh, what we want for negative values. Now for this, we're also going to specify color, so we can have Another square bracket, and we're going to have color uh, three, close square bracket. And then in speech marks, we include the emoji, and we're going to say um, over budget, over budget, uh, space, speech mark. Actually, what we'll say is we'll say over budget by speech mark, oh, I think we have a space before the speech mark, and then we can return the value that the formula, uh, the result of the formula. So for that, I'll do a little bit of formatting. We want a, a currency symbol in front of it, then hash, comma, hash, 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 and that will return our value for us. Okay, so if I click on OK, you can see what it's done. We said over budget by with a really scared emoji and if we're not over budget we've got our little face with the sunglasses so i'm just going to show you that code again control one 
So I've specified the color for the positive values and then in speech marks, what I'm going to display as text within the cell, then semicolon, the negative value. So that'll be the color first, then in speech marks, the text, then how I'm going to format the result of the formula. I haven't used uh, a part for zeros. I haven't used, I haven't specified how I want to format zeros. That'll be the next in the next example, nor have I specified how I want to display any text that was returned in the cell. That was completely enough for how we need to format this particular set of cells. So for the second example, just to give you a reminder, we want to show, uh, we want to use little triangles here to show the difference between the two years worth of sales, whether it's gone down, up, or whether it's stayed the same. Now I've actually already done my copying and pasting of the arrows, just to, of the triangles, just to save a little bit of time. And also I've got a note of the color numbers that I want to use. So I need to do a little calculation in here first. So what we'll do is we'll say, uh, sales in 2016 minus the ones in 2015. So if the sales has gone down, I've got a negative value. Positive value, if it's gone up, if it's stayed the same, I have a zero. So I'm going to select all of those cells and then control one to go into my format cells dialog box. I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to begin to write my formats. Now what I haven't done, and it's easy to forget to do this, is I haven't selected the icon. So I'm going to copy those, then go back to the uh, column that I want to format, control one, custom, and then I'm going to paste in my arrows. So I'm going to start with the uh, positive values. So the color for that is going to be 10. So if you remember, that's in square brackets, so color 10. Then the text that I want to display, including the icon, needs to be in quotation marks. So quotation marks, and then after the up arrow, or triangle, I'm going to say up by, and then space, quotation mark, gives me a, then a space between up by and the amount. And the amount I'm going to show in currency, so that's a sterling symbol, hash, comma, hash, hash, hash. And that is the end of the format for my positive values. So semicolon. Now I'm specifying the color for my negative values. So that's going to be color free. Close square bracket. Then in speech marks, I want my down arrow. So what I'm going to do is cut this and paste it in that position. Because I had those the wrong way around. So then space down by space, quotation marks, and then the format for my value. So that's pound sign, hash, comma, hash, hash, hash. Okay, semicolon. Then I've got the format for my zero values. So the color for that is going to be color 45. So we're going to say color 45, close square bracket. Then in quotation marks, I've got the horizontal triangle, space, and I'm just gonna say stays the same, close quotation mark, and I'm not gonna show a value after that because it would always be zero. Okay, so I've used three of the four parts in that example. So if I click on okay, you can see that it's applied that format. I've got red uh, text, for negative values, green text for positive values, um, a sort of amber or orange text for uh, zero values, and I've got the corresponding text and icons as I've specified. Let's just look at that again. Control one, exactly how I've done that. So positive values, I've got the color, then the text with the icon, semicolon. Negative values, I've got the color, the text with the icon, semicolon, and then I've got the zero values, and I've got the same thing in there, color, and then the text. Okay, so I'll click on OK to just confirm. So two examples of how to use icons or emojis 
There are many different icons that you can use. I've just specified some here. There are hundreds of different icons that you can use, different emojis, different icons for comparison, other shapes as I've shown here, ticks, crosses, etc., etc. You can have a lot of fun uh, exploring these different options. Thank you very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful.